Hands Vector. Like we chilling in the morning. Why be everywhere? We're not touring. When they sleeping on me and the people snoring. And say with it. My better than a song. Over the years, street culture has paved way for the existence of many indigenous Nigerian artists. The art of rap, dancing, DJing, fashion, and beatboxing are basic elements of street culture. Rapper Vector says that street culture has allowed people to accept themselves. He said this while speaking on the impact of street culture on Nigerian hip hop. Street culture allows people to accept themselves some more. Um, the Bile movement has allowed some level of pride further attached to the Yoruba tribe. Um, we all, let's not lie to ourselves, at the point we all thought Yoruba was rise. Everybody would say, ah, ah, look at, because you get what I mean? Like, people always misunderstood local to mean um, less privileged, whereas it's just indigenous. So um, the more we're able to add, I love the fact that ancestrally, uh, the Yoruba tribe has its history, but we said we add our own join up. Um, only that from the angle of street culture, now things have spoiled or gone left, but we're making the best out of Street culture is we have accepted who we are. I won't come dato, but you could dato, but guess what? That's fine. If we can't speak proper English, we'll do it like that. We have accepted ourselves. That's what I think street culture has done in hip hop. People have accepted themselves. They people who are not articulate enough to rap in English are already accepting and rapping in what and that's a beautiful thing. It doesn't mean people who are rapping in English are fake. As a plus, street culture has allowed personal self-acceptance that I've seen. It has even worked for me too. When I asked the difference between hip hop and rap, he had this to say. I haven't, I'll be honest with you, I've not gone to see whether there is a deep research as to whether there is a difference between rap or, and hip hop, right? But I feel um, rap is the art form Hip hop is the ecosystem of the art for, of the art form. Like it's the it's the compound. Rap is some would say rhythm and poetry. Some would say rhythmically applied poetry. I think hip hop is the culture in itself. Like the music. Rap is pretty much lyricism. Like lyrics, rhymes, wordplay, metaphor. That that's you rapping. But you can't be hip hopping now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can only be hip hop. Uh, well, just in case you want to think if I hip hop, you can be hip hop in. Cause you give me the kind of fire I like, you and I make a match, the kind of fire I strike. When you talk about hip hop, hip hop is like the culture, it's the movement. It is the mother that houses the sound that supports the talent or the skill that is rap. That's how I feel. When asked what informed his latest EP, Vibes Before Teslim, he had this to say. Vibes Before Teslim is the project we're working on and um, we have two visual so we, we started with visual interpretations of the concepts. Um, we've had um, something on depression um, titled Your Biology Sending You to Hell. And um, the next is Women and Sex. Me, I'm just personally tired of us expecting Nigeria to be holy, whereas we know we're not holy. We're expecting Nigeria to be right, whereas, yeah, you know what? Let's just accept it, right? We're human beings. We feel. Um, but the deeper story to this is upon my dad passing i kind of like lost interest in a lot of things i realized that the strongest part of a man's life is when you lose somebody really dear to you at that moment they tell you say make you drive your mercedes benz inside fire say your power come back you do have. and i feel like that's a very strong moment so at that point it was like vibes for Slim. okay let's talk about all these things that are normal like you get depressed yes um women and sex Definitely, yes. Um, fake hype and all these things. Yeah, fear, of course. Um, let's address all those things, but then Teslim is going to be self-discovery and self-acceptance. Vibes, vibes before Teslim is, you know, like the journey, of, the journey towards self-discovery. I'm using myself as a case study because if there's anything everybody simultaneously or universally goes through in life is change. Like what we're doing with Vibes Before Teslim is accepting who we are. Like it's all human being. There are no evil people, there are no good people, they are just people. Because first we bad to one person, good to another person. A good example is Shekau, as much as the terrorist he is, he goes home to welcome daddy. 
And that, whether you take it or not, that's the fact. There's a loving woman somewhere with him. There's a, there's a child somewhere with him. I'm not justifying him, but like, we just have to understand that, guy, uh, you just live your own way. You should do right, do right. He has chosen to do wrong. So vibes for the sins. Accept all the things. Forget all this, holy, holy, all of us. If you be man, you like woman. If you don't like woman, at least you like sex. Um, so let's deal with all these things and address them. Let's stop making music like all of us are in love at the same time. Me, I know they even perfect. Tell it down a why with the practice. Tell it down a why with the practice. So vibes before Teslim is addressing all these things and it's okay to make music about them. Then the Teslim album, let's now focus on being ourselves. So I'm no longer considering what anybody feels. I'm doing exactly what I want to do. Don't you see you living in the prison? Don't you, don't you, don't you see you living in the cell? Your biology is sending you to hell. It is who you are.